do have a little bit of green. Yeah. Yeah. We did have a little bit of extra greenery on this actual flowering bush. So this is what I'll use for this one. My color inspiration for this wreath are orange tulips, bright yellow tulips, bright orange daisies, yellow forsythia. Yeah, and this is the same, that, whatever. <laughs> yellow filler flower yeah. <laughs> and white tulips. Uh, sorry. That's okay. I left your greenery. That's all right. We've got enough greenery, I feel like, on this flowering bush that we'll be fine. I thought that was a very pretty spray. I do too. It had a lot of stuff in it. Yes. So, this is a smaller grapevine wreath. And what does it retail for? Six and the and the um, eighteen inches. Right, about eighteen inches. Okay, it is eighteen inches. Six dollars is a very good price. So I'm going to start by. Do you want me to cut all these off? Yes. Okay, hold on. And Jenny's having a little technical difficulty over here, so Carrie's going to step aside and help her, and I'm going to test my glue pot. Make sure it's still hot enough. I'm going to start by adding my forsythia. I love forsythia. Some people call it yellow bell. Oh, I'm Carrie with Trendy Tree, and this is Rachel, my friend, that helps me do some designing. She's my go-to everything. I am going to take this yellow forsythia and just work it around in the grapevine wreath. We just went ahead and decided to do two today. Oh, we're awfully advantageous. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Now, I told the, the people earlier, I am not a professional florist. I have worked in flower shops before. And I have helped carry for several years on different projects in and around. Uh, Who is Martha? Hey, Nana. Hey, Nana. We have uh, worked well together, but one of our greatest accomplishments today, we've decided, would be our glue pan. I agree. Yeah. So for all of you that have just joined us, Go we to. have a glue pan that is actually an electric skillet. From Walmart. From Walmart. <laughs> we picked that up, and it works wonders. When you have worked in the floral business, and you have done design work at home or wherever and you have used a glue gun you know do i need to cut these no not yet let me take a look at these first you know how bad it hurts to get your fingers burnt by a glue gun so we like to use a glue pan we went to walmart and we bought an electric skillet 11 inch 11 inch for eighteen dollars, you can adjust the temperature. Uh, we're, we're frozen. Okay. Uh oh. So, well, it's now it's saying that it's yes, it's green. Okay. We just had a minute of. Okay. Um, you can adjust the temperature as you need it. Carrie and Trendy Tree have the glue. Chips. The glue chips that you add to the electric skillet, the glue pan, and it is wonderful. So, 
That is what we are using to glue our silks to the actual grapevine wreath. I am taking my greenery. Someone says they use glue pillows. I never oh. heard of that. Wow, glue huh. pillows, that's neat. I've never heard of that either. I'm so glad you improvised since I forgot your greenery. I'm sorry. That's okay. If once again, we in the floral business. Oh, hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Oh, yes. We in the floral business know how to improvise. So. We, this would have been cute on our monkey wreath we did last week. This ferny looking stuff. Yeah. I wish I didn't see that you monkey didn't wreath. See the monkey wreath? Uh -uh. We had the We did the, we had the wreath enhancement. Anyway, the monkey had a banana, it was yellow, it was really cute. But it would have the only ferns we had at the shop, fern sprays, they were really, really long and uh -huh. you just you could probably use them but but we weren't very confident in that. Mm -hmm. Well, the more you work with silk flowers, I know the more the confident, biggest. yes, We're that you and your mom will become. Yeah. Yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Got it. I like that piece. That stand. Yeah, it was very pretty. I don't, it almost maybe looked a little folly. But folly, it's a new word. Folly, folly. But it had some. I don't know. I just liked it. It's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think it's not folly. I think it's summery. Babe, this one would go. You know, you could put this on your door in in the you know July, and it could stay up. Yeah. For a while. I think you can actually put this one up pretty earlier because. I mean yes. Because we've also worked in the. Forsythia. Forsythia. Which we all know for Scythia, or as we call it here, yellow bell, is a springtime flower. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's probably got bird dogs named that. He probably does have bird dogs named that. <laughs> you went all the way around on this one. I did. Is I... that because it's round? Well, no. I just like the for Scythia. I just wanted it to be all the way around. I see forsythia. Is that the stuff that grows up like on like on um like like on a fence? No, you're thinking about um jasmine. But that's good that's a good guess. I just see forsythia is like a big bush. So I just see it kind of growing everywhere. I don't just really see it growing up the side of a vine. Yeah, I'm thinking jasmine like at my yeah. Blue house. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to do my tour. Julie found the spray she was talking about and posted it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Does it do have a name? Ever do tutorials on saddles or side bases for graves. Uh, this, if we were, we could do it with Rachel. Yes. Um. To this work that we are doing together is something new for Trendy Tree. We have talked about this today, Carrie and I have, and we are thinking about doing a some saddle. a saddle and <laughs> uh, cemetery flowers as well. Right. So that is we something to look forward got to. to. Get the yeah. We've got to get the right supplies. Yeah. What? David is asking questions. Oh, Except man. Does this grow up a fence? David, Mar David, David Martin is making fun of me. David Martin? <laughs> well, so he's, he's on the tree tree now. I know. Oh, he can't. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've made a chicken leg. <laughs> Jeremy says those are new vocabulary words he's heard from Carrie in this book. Oh. <laughs> Fernie. 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 And Foley. I got it. I got it now. It took me that long. She's got it. I figured it out. She's got it. I can make up new words. Yes. 
We're just kind of making it up all up as we go. We just need to get some of those. What's your favorite? I, I know where I can get them. Do you like on the saddles? Do you like do you like leather saddles? I mean, <laughs> just don't even start. <laughs> Is it those those kinds? Those that have the they're metal and they're they're real that you put the styrofoam on. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So. But could you do, could we use a, could we use a rail, you know, that, that rail that you made my swag on from my front door? Could we use that rail as like six squares? Could we make that into a saddle? I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Um, because you want a saddle, you want it to be secure on top of the tombstone. Okay. And it's a part, you know, that part would have to, it would have to have legs on the front and the back that would come down over the tombstone okay. and secure. Okay. Okay. So, but that is a very good question and we are looking into that. I'll get some. So, yeah. I'm probably get well. So, again, I'm just going around, placing my yellow filler flower into my grapevine wreath. And I'm going to hold it up here so everybody can kind of see my progress. Look at you found that A S T I L B. A, a, a still B? As, I don't know. Spell it again now. A S T I L B E S. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to use these others. I think we're just going to use what we've got here. Our tulips look pretty. We've, we've gone around on this grapevine. And I'm thinking like a bow. Right there. Right there. Yep. So again, because we did have mm -hmm. this 10 yard row. Of Jude use it again. We're going to use it again. I'm zoomed in a little bit. Okay. And we're going to use another 10 yard spool. It's orange and yellow. We're going to incorporate the orange and yellow this time. We're going to do just a bow this time. Crystal said you pronounced it right. Oh, ha, I still be. I still be. Thank you, Crystal. Ah, who knew? <laughs> I'm not a Do you want to measure this for our friends at home? Okay. I am going to do. You need to measure. I, when you when you clump it right there, I'll okay. make okay. the loop. Homemade raisin. Do it. Do it. Like I'm going to cinch it together. This is my first loop. Yeah. So those are about five inches. Okay. About, about five inch loops. I'm going to make five inch loops. And I feel like I'm going to make three on either side. One. Two. Let me cut you some wire. Sure. Crystal works 50 hours a week in a flower shop. Oh, there you go. She, she knows. knows. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, hey, Mama Candy. You would know if you work 50 hours a oh, week. Oh, bless her. Yes. So I've got my three loops on either side, and then I am going to... Would you like to measure this for my streamer? Well, I can. Okay. In order to get my streamer, I'm going to go down about... Oh, I don't, I don't, my, my rotor didn't go that far. Hold on. <laughs> now, let's say about 14 inches. Okay, about 14 inches. Are we frozen again? No, it just... Okay, and then I'm going to come back up and meet it again so I can cut it at the bottom. That way I'll have two streamers. Assistant Carrie with the wire. Going to attach my wire in the center here. The glue is holding pretty well. 
You can see. Give it a shake. I do this. It's pretty. Yeah. Pretty sturdy. We love the hot glue. I'm impressed with my my skillet. <laughs> I usually just use that to cook bacon in. <laughs> just kidding. I don't cook. <laughs> well. So I have got my wire here. And I'm going to attach it to my wreath. Oh, this is Rachel, my friend, who helps me design my house and my flowers. She's my friend, and she's going to help me do some. Mom was working in the yard, and I needed to get a video out, and I had to have help, so I called back up. Debbie says you had an electric skillet at home. <laughs> we wanted you to use it, David, for right. cooking supper tonight. So just to keep it secure, I am going to go ahead and add one more piece of wire, just to be on the safe side, to my ribbon, because... You know, when you're making something for somebody else, you want to make sure that everything stays together and you want to make sure it looks good. So I'm just going to add one more piece of wire to this for security. Okay. Is this a tail? Mm -hmm. More of Jenny's pretty ribbon that she picked out. Sure. I like the jute ribbon. I think yeah. it turned out pretty. And we used it in both. Right. That's the good thing. We got usage out of the jute ribbon for both wreaths. And that keeps our cost. I think it looks good. Down. So there you go. Okay. Like yeah. There's your summer wreath. Okay. Um, don't forget to, um, everything's on Trendy Tree, and, and, um, Mom's got the supply list up for us, and we should be good to go. Thank y'all so much for watching us, um, it's hard to do without Mom, but thanks. Bye-bye. No. You don't know how to turn it off? No.